And here we see Daniel O'Connell's statue. The past is over O'Connell Bridge and the bus stop is up to the left three minutes or so walk. And here we have the bus stop and the name of the stop is Borough Key with the big green bus company. Notice the stop is also beside a black painted railing if you need some more guidance. And there is some large luggage storage here at the side of the carriage as shown. The seats look nice and comfy with leather upholstery and overhead luggage storage. What more do you want? It looks the business. The overhead light did not work, you will see why later. And there is a USB socket behind each seat. And now for the main event, the fight between the bus driver and the passenger. The passenger is with a paddy cap, the bus driver is in blue, so turn up the volume to hear the commotion a bit better. <laughs> After a couple of jabs, he ran off, dazed it seems, the passenger, that is not the bus driver, thank God. On with our journey and it costs £25 one way and students pay a half price with a leap card. And the journey tonight, the last bus leaves at 23.15 from Dublin city centre and arrives into Tralee at 3.40 and it also goes through Limerick and other stops which I will map out, I'll leave these in the description page for you. Here you will see Houston train station is lit up in the Irish colours green, white and gold or orange. And here we see the racehorse statues as we enter Kildare Village.
which is famed for its prize trainers, horses, jockeys, and also its race course, like the Punchestown race course, which is very famous, and I won a lot on that one. This bus service is a great night service as it also leaves Tralee late and it leaves Killarney late and on towards Dublin. I must say that bus drivers have a tough job and it's a they're a credit to the Irish transport system. As we approach Limerick City you will see the town is busy as the City Hurling team won the All-Ireland Championship and to overseas visitors hurling is a game played with a wooden stick made from hazel or willow and a slitter as it's called which is a ball made from two pieces of leather stitched together and hit around the field. Now stop in Limerick City and here comes the celebratory music to keep us entertained. Now we will see someone runs out in front of the bus to stop the driver as he passes by.
And like true Irish weather, it starts to rain. Yes, that is the bus leaking water from the roof. What next? Now we know why the overhead power light don't work. I think I need to get my raincoat. And that ends our journey. We now enter Tralee at 3.40am and not a pub inside open. And I hope you enjoyed our journey as I did. But I would not like to do this trip every day. Oh my god, not every day. And from me here and Alan Larkin above the statue, I bid you good night until our next adventure. Adios, amigos. <laughs>